doctors are still on call. If you have a health-related question, just email it to us at greatdayhouston at khou.com. If you're going out of town, don't take the baggage of the flu or pneumonia with you. It's the gift that keeps on giving, unfortunately, to those who don't protect themselves properly. Here to show us how to stay on top of our health through the holidays and into 2012, please welcome back ATB pharmacist Gina Eubank. Hi. Okay, before we get to the flu and the pneumonia, someone had a question for you, so let's go ahead and listen to that. I plan on traveling over the holidays. What happens if I lose my prescription? What do I do? Okay. Yeah, that's happened before. Uh, or you just left your, your medicine at home. Yes, I mean, this is extremely common. Um, what I recommend to people is for them to have in their wallet the name of their medication that they're on, the dosage, and how many times a day, their doctor phone number, and then their pharmacy phone number. And then all you do is, if it's an HEB, you can just go to an HEB and we can pull you up by your date of birth and immediately transfer it. Um, and if you don't have refills, we can contact your doctor. If you're out of state, then you just go to a pharmacy, give them the information. They can contact your doctor or your pharmacy and work that out. If you're out of the country, go to the pharmacy and see what they have equivalent. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. And maybe see a doctor. Is, 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 you know, speaking of holiday travel and medications, also making sure if you have temperature sensitive medications. Oh, definitely. And it, I mean, you never, ever put your medication in your checked luggage. I cannot stress this enough because in the cabin, it's a controlled environment as far as temperature. Mm -hmm. But you have to look at it if it needs to be refrigerated like or anything. some insulin, for insulin, example. Insulin, definitely. Um, and, you know, at HEB, we have little cases and that will help keep it at the correct temperature. So talk to the pharmacist and find out if this is one of the medications that has special instructions. All right, let's move on to the flu. Okay, okay. I heard somebody say the other day, well, that really starts in late September, October, right? I haven't gotten it yet, so it means I won't get it. No. Okay. <laughs> The way, why people think September, that's when the CDC releases the flu vaccine. Mm -hmm. That's to get people on board to prevent. Ahead, of the, ahead yeah. of the game, exactly. We're in the throes of now flu season. Because if you notice just walking around, people are sick. Mm -hmm. They have a cold, congestion, respiratory, and, you know, their immune system's down. Well, the flu is a virus. It, I mean, if you haven't gotten your flu shot, it is not too late. People still get the flu in March. Yeah. And the easy thing is you can just kind of, while you're grocery shopping, swing on by the pharmacy and say, need my flu yeah, shot. Yeah, there's no appointment necessary. And with our HEB Platinum Rewards card, it's only 22 bucks. I mean, just, just get it. I mean, you don't want your family to. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, if one person in the family gets mm -hmm. it, the, uh, oftentimes the whole family is wiped out by it. Uh, and HEB will give the vaccine age seven without and up without a prescription? Exactly. Okay. Uh, and the incubation period, just to make sure that you know. Like, it takes about 10 days for the vaccine to become effective. So if you're going to be flying and you've got that recycled air, you know, plan ahead. Yeah, get, yeah. get your vaccine. And as you mentioned at the top of the show, the flu shot is a dead vaccine, so it doesn't cause you to get the flu. It, it does not. And if you've been exposed to the flu virus, um, it takes about 48 to 72 hours for you to start experiencing symptoms. And it's very important to go ahead and go to a doctor and get on a prescription because the prescription, you have to get on it within 48 hours and it'll decrease the intensity and duration of the flu. Otherwise, it's not effective. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, HEB has a promotion, the Prescription Platinum Rewards Program. Tell mm -hmm. us what that is. Okay. With that, there are, it's a one-time $5 enrollment fee. Mm -hmm. And you can sign up your entire family for it. And that gives you, we have, you know, hundreds of drugs on the list that you can get a 90-day supply for $9.99. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, Many people think, well, I'm on insurance, so I can't do this. And what we'll do is we'll see whether it is less expensive to go through your insurance or whether it's better to go through the platinum. Hmm. So we'll help you navigate and see which is the best deal for yeah, that. Yeah, but $9.99, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't get much and, better and than with that. The, and with the platinum program, you also can get a year's worth of prenatal vitamins uh -huh. for free. You know, of course, your doctor will have to write a prescription. Well. And with your first diabetic prescription, you can get a glucose monitor for free. And, and all your vaccines, you can get at a reduced yeah, for price. For five bucks to enroll, I mean, you, you get a lot, a no get a lot more. I mean, yeah. it, oh, yeah. you can sign your pets up. Oh, look at yeah. that. There you go, Chester. Pets and Rex and Rosso. Okay. Uh, the other thing, uh, you know, the flu kills so many people. That's one of the reasons why you're mm -hmm. saying, look, we underestimate how many people the flu will kill. We also underestimate how many people pneumonia will kill, and a lot of us don't realize there is actually a vaccine. Yes. But there are certain groups of our population we really encourage to take that pneumonia vaccine. Yes, and one thing, just as a tidbit, 
pneumonia is one of the eight leading causes of death, and there's a vaccine, like you're saying. I mean, it, it shouldn't be happening. So the people that have immune systems that are compromised, or if you have asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, mm -hmm. um, diabetes, anything where your body's having to work extra, to protect itself, you need to get it. And it's one time prior to 64 okay. years of age, and then it's one time after 65. Now, a lot of seniors think, oh, I need to get it every five years. But where that comes from, it's people without spleens that need to get it every five years, or if their immune system is compromised. Yeah, like, and ask your doctor. Your doctor would be yes. happy to tell you, yes, you qualify, yes. or yes, you, no, you don't need it. Um, meningitis is the other vaccine that's, that's yes. critical. Yes, and there's been a law that has changed on meningitis um, for students entering college, and this is in January, so a lot of students are going to be surprised by this. It is a now a requirement to get into college to get the meningitis vaccine. It used to be only if you're going to live on campus. Mm -hmm. So if you were a previous student and you haven't missed a semester, you're fine. But if you're a brand new student or if you're transferring from another university, yeah, then but, you have to go ahead but and get call that. HEB, we can help you navigate the new law, but it has to be given 10 days prior. To showing back up on campus. Exactly. Okay, and last but not least, my, my son had to have an antibiotic recently. I had to chase him around the house to get him to take it. He's like, no! And I was like, because it tasted so bitter. Well, we can get flavoring add to those antibiotics. Yes. Those liquid antibiotics now. Yes, um, we can, I mean, we have an assortment of flavors. I mean, we can do strawberry, we can do banana, I mean, we can do chocolate, I mean, crazy flavors. I mean, yeah. where you're like, really? Time for your chocolate milk? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's right. the, yeah. and you know, this is not only for children medication, I do it for adult medication as well because I have some renal patients or cancer patients where, you know, that gag reflex and just mm -hmm. eating, they, they don't have any taste. And it's just... So they'll taste that bitterness, so mm -hmm. they can have somebody that takes that away. Yes, it's, All right. it's really great. So, Gina, thank you very much. For more information, you can log on to HEV.com slash pharmacy. Well, the holidays are here, but what happens if you have a dental crisis and you can't get to the dentist? Yeah, like a tooth falls out overnight. How to treat those tooth emergencies and save your smile after the break.